We're now going to have a look at an example of how to sketch an exponential equation and how to solve exponential equations using logarithms. So getting straight into it, it asks us, asks us to sketch the curve of y equals 2 times 3 to the x. So y equals 2 times 3 to the power of x. It's part 1. So what we need to do, if you don't know the shape of this curve, it is just a shape to learn. However, let's pretend you didn't know it. Take the calculator and we're going to go into table mode. We're going to see a selection of points to plot. That'll give us a rough idea of what the curve looks like. So we're going to go into table function. So menu then the ninth function, which is table. And f of x equals, well, we're going to input that equation into the calculator, 2 times 3 to the power of x. Press equals to input it. Now, it's given us the option to enter a second function, but we're not going to do that. Right, we're going to start at, say, I don't know, minus 10. We'll go all the way up to 10 just to get a rough idea of what this graph looks like between minus 10 and 10. And we're going to step in 1. That means we're going to go up in 1. So the gap between x coordinates is 1. Right, so we can see here that in minus 10, the number is very small. It's 3.387017562 times 10 to the negative 5. Still very, very, very small. So I can... I know when the curve's very negative in terms of x that the y coordinates are very small. They keep on being small till I get uh, uh, to get till I get to x equals zero, at which point the y coordinates two. There we go. And then it starts getting very big very quickly. So the increase in gradient accelerates. So that's the shape of the exponential curve, y equals 2 times 3 to the x. Again, that's just a curve to learn. One point where my example might lose marks is, first of all, I haven't drawn it with a ruler. And secondly, here, my asymptote appears to be getting slightly further away. So an examiner might mark that a little bit more harshly. And you might lose a mark for it. Part 2, the curve y equals 2 times 3 to the x intersects the curve y equals a to the x at the point p. Show that the x coordinate of p may be written as that there. What of a 3 minus log to the base 2 of 3? Well, clearly, we're going to have to log to the base 2 both sides at some point here. So we've got y equals 2 times 3 to the x, which must be equal to a to the x. Both have the same y coordinate. And let's log to the base 2 at this stage. So log to the base 2 of 2 times 3 to the power of x equals log to the base 2 of a to the x. And at this point, I know I'm going to have to use my logarithm laws. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them all down here and get in the habit of writing them all down. So log of a plus log of b equals log of a b. Log of a minus log of b equals log of a over b and then log of a to the power of b equals b times log a. So these are the rules that I'm going to have to use at some point during this question. So let's look for the ones that apply here. Well, I can see with this here, I can use the power rule. So x log to the base 2 of 8. So this rule here says the power can jump to the front, the b goes to the front. Now this one here, the wrong thing to do would be use the power rule straight away. Some people might be tempted to throw that x to the front, but that can't happen. If you throw the x to the front of all of the brackets, you're saying that x belongs to the 2 as well, which it doesn't. The first thing we need to do is split this up using the addition rule. So log to the base 2 of 2 plus log to the base 2 of 3 to the power of x. So that's the first step. Notice that log to the base 2 of 2 is 1. What power do I have to raise 2 to to get the answer to? 1. And then we can bring this x to the front now using the power rule. So x log to the base 2 of 3 equals x and log to the base 2 of 8 Again, what power do you have to raise 2 to, to get 8? 
we have to raise it to the power of 3. There we go. So, writing this line out again, 1 plus x log to the base 2 of 3 equals 3x. Getting closer. So now if I take to the other side, this x log to the base 2 of 3, I get 1 equals 3x minus x log to the base 2 of 3. Factorising out the x, 1 equals x, 3 minus log to the base 2 of 3. And finally divide by 3 minus log to the base 2 of 3 to get 1 over 3 minus log to the base 2 of 3 equals x, which is what we're asked to show. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.